How is it going everyone? In the previous video, I introduced this sound effect. So that's what we're gonna use. And today I'm gonna break it down to show you how you can actually create that. You'll need Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition to follow through. So let's go. In Premiere Pro, I will just add my audio samples to the timeline. For this video, I'm gonna use this audio. And without further ado, let's jump straight into the project. Before we do anything, just make sure you have Adobe Audition installed. If you have an Adobe subscription, you can go to the Creative Cloud app and there search for Audition. I already have it installed. As you can see here, it says open, but if you don't, just take some time to install it on your computer. Back to our project, select your sample, right click and then choose edit clip in Adobe Audition. Let's play this in Audition. And without further ado, let's jump straight into the project. And now with our clip selected, go to effects, time and pitch and then pitch bender your preset is probably set to default so let's switch it with turntable losing power and without power. further ado let's jump straight into the project now with this preset applied the audio is just going to slow down at the end to apply this effect in premiere pro as well make sure you go to file and save heading back to premiere pro we can see that the audio clip was actually updated now it's longer because of the slowing down effect and it sounds something like this and without further ado let's jump straight into the project if you're satisfied with how this turned out, that's pretty much it for you. If you want to continue messing with the audio, here are a few things you can do. I'll add a song sample, which sounds something like this. And without further ado, let's jump straight into the project. On this instrumental, I'm just going to cut the beginning part. I'm going to select edit clip in Adobe Audition again. And back to this effect, we have a few more presets. We also have the just winding up effect, which is going to make the song start slow and then go to its normal tempo. Looking on the graph, we see these points that we can actually edit. If we make changes to them, we can basically control how we want this effect to be applied. There's also this option to use spline curves or normal curves, depending on how smooth you want this to be applied. And what I was thinking for this instrumental was to make it play normally only when this bar starts playing. So I'll just add the point there. Again, make sure you save it so the changes are going to occur in Premiere Pro as well. And here, just adjust the length of the clip. And without further ado, let's jump straight into the project. So that was it guys, another video for you, this time introducing Adobe Audition. Make sure you stay connected to our page by subscribing to the channel. You can also like this video if you found this helpful. And all the other information about us where we can reach out is in the link in the description. Thank you so much for your support and have an amazing week.